Hello ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Webb here for Project Valdery. I apologize for all you hardcore fans out there for my pronunciation or mispronunciation of the word. <laughs> so uh, with that, let's get started. Here we have the Nosferat 2 female character and the animations are synchronized as you can see. So he's running about. Uh, the walking animations are also synchronized. Uh, I have one attack animation in here, and that's just the um, the jab right now. But I'll be adding all the other ones in, and also doing the combinations very shortly. Uh, the other really cool thing that I wanted to share with you today is the obfuscate ability. Of course, um, belonging to the clan Nosferatu is one of their primary disciplines. Um, the ability itself is actually pretty cool, and it's very very powerful. Um, one of the most powerful abilities in the game will be Cloak the Gathering. Um, this is the just the basic uh, obfuscate effect. I don't have it on the head yet, but I will be putting it on there. And as you can see, it even cloaks the shadow. So right now I just have it tied to the number one key. If you hit the number one key, you go into it. If you hit, hit it again, of course you come out of it. And it's a very subtle effect. However, it's also very disturbing if a civilian sees you doing it. Which brings me to the next point of a global masquerade system that we would like to implement. Um, the entire um, scene itself um, and all the players in it will have its, uh, the, its own global masquerade system. So individuals that are going about doing their nefarious deeds uh, in the eyes of the public will incur violations not only on themselves but also as a global. And when you get to the point at which it becomes blatantly obvious that vampires really exist to a, a general amount of the populace, you will be intact um, en masse. So just be very mindful of how you go about doing your business. Now, there will be some checks and balances put into place so that we don't have to worry so much about um, you know, people intentionally ruining the game for other people. For instance, those individuals that have more masquerade violations than others and seem to rack them up carelessly will be the targets first to get them out of the, uh, the general scene, and the other players will be able to work towards restoring those masquerade points so as to take the uh, heat off the rest of the um, vampire nation, so to speak. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try the chat now. So, hey, say something, Arthur. I also have to do the um to stop the control on the character while um the typing is going on and also by locking the um mouse cursor there why hello there fellow kindreds <laughs> the name of the character will also be next to it as well anything that you would you would expect to see in a um, a general um communications interface inside of a video game you can expect to see uh, we'll also have tags for te like talking to specific individuals too. Um, these tools are going to be invaluable for setting up and managing your coteries as well. Um, you also have a lot of cool storyteller tools too. So for those of you that like to mod, um, you know you're going to have everything that you need in order to put together some really really cool stuff. And we're we're working very very hard to keep this project going. Um, and we could always use some help from the community. So. All right, let's see here. Um, also, another thing too, and I'll be implementing this in probably the next two videos maybe, but um, right now I just have the basic um, on-hit functionality for lights. Each one of these lights can be destroyed, and that's the way it's going to be for most of the major lights that are in the game. Um, right now I just have to, you know, right where the middle of the screen would be, like right by our head uh, here, and then just click, and that was supposed to simulate a gunshot. But yeah, we'll have a particle effect on that. It'll destroy the light. You'll see some sparks. Um, and it will also um, enable you to, of course, you know, get a little bit more boost for your, um, uh, a little bit more of a bonus for, for your, your stealth. Now, there comes at a risk too, of course, because um, by using a firearm in public, you're committing a criminal violation. And criminal violations are met with... Um, pretty severe consequences, um, especially if you're a repeat offender. And it's um, also pretty likely that, you know, the more you get police involved, um, the more likely it is for you to end up with a masquerade violation. So 
Uh, criminal violations, masquerade violations are no good, so you just want to be very, very mindful of all of that. Um, so with that, I bid thee farewell. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for some more Project Valdery. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.